guys, so obviously I'm not looking too crash hot right now, but I'm doing a recipe video tonight. I apologize if you can hear the birds outside, they just won't shut up. But I'm making my chicken teriyaki stir fry. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. The ingredients and everything will be in the description box down below. Um, <clears throat> and stuff like that. So let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Okay, so the ingredients you will need is chicken pieces. I have thigh fillets here. I'm going to unwrap them and cut them up soon. Some onion. Pineapple chunks. I have this packet of ramen noodles, three different colours of capsicum. I like all three colours, so I'm going to put little bits of each of them in there. Now, this is all the vegetables I have access to at the moment. Normally, I would put some mushrooms and some carrot and some other stuff in there, but this is what I have access to at the moment. And for the sauce, uh, some honey, garlic, ginger, brown sugar, and some soy sauce. The measurements and everything will be down below. You do normally have to put mirin in a teriyaki sauce, but I don't have any. I also, just on my iPad, googled a recipe for teriyaki sauce. And this is the website that I use, geniuskitchen.com. Japanese teriyaki sauce. And it's just very easy right there. So that is what I am using at the moment. So first thing first, I'm going to put everything in the saucepan just here for the sauce, and I'll be right back. So there we go, everything for the sauce is in there, and now I'm just going to stir it, basically wait for it to thicken. Um, personally, it doesn't matter if it doesn't really thicken, it's just to melt the sugar and everything like that. So I'm supposed to bring it to the boil, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit so it heats up. I think it's going to start and boil. I don't want the sugar to burn, so I might turn it down a little bit. Uh, just a bit. There we go. Now that it's boiling, I'm to turn it right down and just let it bubble till it thickens. It might not thicken because there's no mirin in it. But we shall see. If not, I'll make a corn flour and water paste and I'll put it in there to thicken it. But I don't really care if it doesn't thicken exactly. It's going in a stir fry and it seems to be a bit thicker, but it'll probably take a little bit longer. The sauce is at a thickness of my desire. I am heating up a bit of olive oil in this frying pan. I know it looks like a lot, but this pan needs a lot. A lot of our um, pans are missing the coatings because we've had them for so long, so I need a fair amount of oil. And I have also cut up my veggies, well apart from the pineapple because I'll put that in last, they cook really quickly. Onion and the three different coloured capsicums. I just have my iPad still sitting here so I had some extra light. But this is the olive oil I'm using, it's just from Aldi, I like it. I find it doesn't make much of a difference though. But I'm going to sort of caramelise these. So while the veggies are cooking I'm going to cut up the chicken. And the chicken has been added. Yummy. I have also begun to drain the rings of pineapple. I really want to drain these pretty well. And then I'll just cut them up and add them pretty much just before I add the sauce. So the pineapple is in. I'm just going to sort of let everything stir around so the veggies and that can give everyone or each other the flavour. And then I will add the noodles, um, which I have over there, which I rinsed. So, oh, it smells really nice. <clears throat> so I'm going to add the noodles. Here's my noodles. Put them in. And stir this around. Excellent. And for the final touch, I'm going to tip over the teriyaki sauce. And I'm going to need to hold the pan to stir this, so I'll be right back. There we go. It's kind of liquidy, but I like that because I freeze the last of the 
like obviously I'm not going to eat all this in one night so I'm going to freeze the rest of it and the liquid sort of stops the noodles from drying out in the freezer and it helps keep the flavour so that's why I make mine a bit more liquidy but here we go. have my meal for tonight and I have two left over so that is my amazing chicken teriyaki stir fry. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Ingredients and everything will be in the description box down below. I will link the teriyaki sauce recipe as well if I can remember it. Like if I can remember to do it. If not I'll just type it out in the um recipe in the description box. Um, I probably should have added more veggies. I didn't realize the ratio of vegetables to everything else was going to be a bit lower. Oh well, I'll figure that out for next time. I normally pack all my fried rices, stir fries and everything with veggies, but I also didn't have a huge array of them. I forgot to go out and buy some this morning. But I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please check out my social media sites in the description box. Hit the subscribe button in the corner down there and I'll see you in my next video.